everyone, my name is Shaz and this is Shazness Wellness. Welcome to my page. So I'm all about gut health, hormone health, and keeping it real here. So today, just a quick update on my hives. I honestly have let them drag on for way too long and I definitely need a protocol that I need to follow so that I can figure this out from the root cause and understand why I keep getting them. I personally kind of know why they are um, exposing themselves a lot and it's because one, my lifestyle has changed a lot. I became an entrepreneur overnight and I'm working crazy hours. I'm trying to learn that as well as balancing a toddler. So I'm really just trying to find the work-life balance. And I actually have like a bit of a breakout right now that I can show you. It's nothing too serious, but yeah, it's there. So as of right now, um, the first step that I do is try this cream. Um, this is called Dermogen C. So realistically, that cream is natural and it just really helps with the itch. I find it helps with the itch the best. Um, but again, that's just more of an external thing. If it gets really bad and I didn't even realize that I had been itching, I automatically take a reactant because it gets to a point where I'm so itchy and swollen that I can't even focus on doing anything else. So that has been good. I've been taking a lot of reactant because it gets through that point so easily or I honestly just wake up with a bunch of hives. So this is my protocol and this is what I'm doing for me. So please understand, like I'm not telling you if you have hives to take these things. They might help you, they might provide some insight, um, but it really is going to be a diet change. So I, I'm i always gluten-free, dairy-free, and I pretty much eat a sugar-free life, um, but I haven't been eating like the healthiest of foods. I make sure that I eat a smoothie every single day to get all my fruits and veg in, um, but I could be doing better. So I'm gonna make a big effort on making sure my breakfast, first and foremost, is a lot of veggies, a lot of protein, a lot of fat. I thrive the best off of that. So the first thing that I got is a quercetine bromelain, bromelain, sorry. I don't know how to say that, uh, complex. So quercetin is known really well to do uh, good for allergies. Um, so I'm gonna be taking this. The second thing is going to be candesim. So this is an antifungal. This is my favorite antifungal right now. So the reason that I'll be taking candesim is because hives are usually a flag of dysbiosis, meaning like an imbalance of gut flora or leaky gut. And I'm prone to both of those things. And to be honest, I haven't done any type of yeast cleanse or yeast friendly diet since I got pregnant. Cause when I got pregnant, my priority was just me and baby and making sure that the baby was going well and strong and then I was doing well to get ready for birth. And then when I had him, my life just went upside down. He was colic, didn't sleep. So my focus was to just survive. And I did, and I didn't eat very well either. <laughs> okay, so the last thing that I got is liver GI detox. And this is simply because I have taken so much reactin. I also took antibiotics, or I had to be on antibiotics when I gave birth. Um, and then there's definitely just been some over-the-counter drugs along the way, like Motrin or things to help me with my pain after birth. Like I would, I tried really hard not to take those things, but I was in a lot of pain, so I took them. So realistically, this is just because I've taken a lot of over-the-counter drugs in the last two years, and I wanna just clear that out and make sure that, you know, my body's good. Okay, so that's really it. I really just wanted to give you a quick update on what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be sharing um, my progress, and I really just need to find like a firm start date. I keep pushing it off because I'm like, oh, I have this to do, I have this to do. Um, but November should be good. I should be able to do it. November, realistically, my goal for November is finish my website, finish my ebook, which I'm so excited to share, which is going to be, of course, really, on how to heal your gut. Um, it's gonna be awesome and me, I gotta really focus on myself. So I'm gonna be slowing down calls, my calendar's gonna be closed and only open to clients only. And for those who are asking, you know, when can I get a chance to work with you or video chat with you, December. December should be the month that my calendar goes open again for one-on-ones and as well as my website and ebook. So in one shape or form of another of me, I should be able to directly or indirectly help you. And that is my goal because so many people need help with their gut. And I know that feeling of feeling alone and that is the last thing I want you to feel. So I'm working really hard and getting all of that done. Yes, I got my hair did in case you were wondering. Woohoo! It's a little bit greasy at this point, but it feels so good. I honestly cannot do long hair anymore. I really can't. 
Like as, as I get older, I just want it shorter and shorter. I think this is the shortest I've ever gone. I'm very curious to see what it's gonna look like when it's uh, curly. Anyways, that's it friends. I hope you guys are doing well. I try to make videos every wellness Wednesday. Please subscribe because it means so much to me. This is part of my job and it's also a great platform for free content for you guys. So comment any questions you have. I'm sorry if I can't get to them, but I really do try to look at as many as I can to get insight on what information you guys need. So subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok. What else is there? Oh man, so many social media platforms. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Batman. No. The no. other guy is Batman. One tittle. Two tittle. Is that your Batman voice? <gasps> is that your Batman voice? Three tittle. Is that your Batman voice? A Batman. A Batman. A Batman. A Batman. A Batman. No. Batman, 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 Batman. One Batman, two Batman. <laughs>